Well, welcome to Glen Burnie Sail Yards this morning on this wet and cold morning. Um, we've got uh, a yarding today of about 900 cattle up with all the agents, so uh, just a few more than last week. Um, hard to find any big heavy bullocks, but we we're fortunate enough to have a couple of pens of these heavy bullocks from the Ford family from over at Hamilton. Big heavy Hereford bullocks with plenty of age about them. $2.48 a kilogram for those big bullocks, and as you can see, you know, they've, they've shown the effects of the cold weather now, but 248 and plenty of weight, so they're going to convert to really good dollars, those steers. So the, um, their brothers next door here, just some big heavy ones next door, these bullocks here, just old, the old fashioned type, you know, um, plenty of age on them, $2.22 a kilo. You know, back before Christmas, those bullocks were $1.60. So that's how the, the prices have range so much different in the last few months. This Friesian bullock here, just a single Friesian bullock, I think he was $2.12 a kilo. So there you are, that gives you a range of, um, of where it all is. Onto the, onto the yearling run here and uh, have a look at these quality these quality heifers here today two dollars sixty a kilo so that's that's deer in the last week i think we've got a, we've got a run of these feeder heifers like these heifers here uh chetwin south um, they bought these heifers early in the year for not a lot of money and they decided to trade them today and they made two dollars forty four a kilo and they're going to charlton feedlot so they are 244 a kilo and when they purchase them they're probably dollar sixty so they've been a hell of a trade for this client but um, now we've got to find something to put back in the spot. These heifers here, the sisters, $2.50, uh, off the same station. Des and Ann Slattery's cattle, a uh, big heifer there. Um, I think she made $2.30 a kilo, and I think the other one, the mid-backer, she made two thirty-eight. Now these heifers here, probably with lost calves, and uh, EU, EU heifers. These steer calves are Roger Jones, just from Mumbana, impeccably bred. Um, look at the bone in those calves. But they made over two dollars eighty a kilo live weight, so uh, that's good money for those cattle. They're good little steers, though. They do particularly well. These heifer veilers are Roger Joneses again, two dollars fifty a kilo, and um, fresh as paint. The rest of our run now, we sort of um, we go around the corner. We've got more feeder heifers. Go around the corner onto a run of planer cattle. The planer cattle all made from a dollar seventy to to two dollars a kilogram. There's a few little steers there that we sold dollars a head. Tiny little steers and they made $540. So uh, it's all pretty strong here this morning at Glen Burnie. The cow run today, very good quality run of cows. Uh, the job probably not quite as strong as last week, but a few more cows about. These sort of cows here, these magnificent Angus cows, uh, $2.20 a kilo. So it's good, still good money for those. These sort of cows here, you can see they're carrying a bit of condition, very fresh. I'm sure, I think those cows there were $2.13 a kilo. So it's still good money. Anything over two dollars for an old cow is pretty good. These younger dry cows are probably lost calves. You know, just the younger cows. They're making around that 218, 220 a kilo today. As you get onto the lighter condition cows, you're back into the dollar 80s and 90s for these sort of cows here. These Friesian cows here out of the dairy, being grain fed, sort of when they get milked every day. But those cows here today, they made a dollar 92, which is wonderful money for a Friesian cow. These are uh, plain condition, um, sort of plain and condition Friesian cows, making that $1.65. Um, and then we had a run of other cows, they all made from sort of that $1.76. We'll go down the other side there, but the, the sort of plain and condition cows, all that $1.76 to say $1.88. And out of that, there's quite a few going to the restockers and then the balance were going um, to the butchers. But it's interesting today watching the cows, the restockers are poking along as soon as there's a bit of an opportunity there, or they think that the processors have just pulled that lighter cow job back, there's, um, you know, the restockers are straight in there trying to secure them. So there's good competition out here today. So that pretty much gives us a rundown of the cattle today. Um, I'd like to thank all our vendors. We had a very good yarding ourselves, Ray White Keatley, and, uh, and we'll see you next week.